All right, guys, finally came in, got my Faction Fab uh, coilover kit, ordered them on Subi Speed online, and uh, got a badass deal on it. So, here you go. Uh, as you can see right here, there's a little side part. Give you some information of uh, Faction Fab. These uh, Faction Fab FR specs, by the way. Doing this with one hand. Ugh. But look at that. That looks pretty cool and shiny. That's cool. That's nice. All right, so there's your 32 adjuster. Yep, and there you go. You put that little knob up top there, so great. And that's where you can make your 32 uh, uh, adjustments. Uh, it says about 12.5 kilograms on the spring load. And uh, here in about a week, I think I'll uh, do the video to install these. I'm excited. All right, guys, I know it's been a while since my last video, so this one's gonna be a little bit different. And I am working in Honest, Honest One's car garage again, so thanks to Sonny for allowing me to work out here in his uh, Bay Area. So if you're in the Northern Virginia area, Alexandria, please be sure to check out his shop. Also, Sonny is always supporting tuners, local car clubs. Uh, we have car meets here once every other month or something like that. Now, I'm servicing my vehicle by putting coilover kits from Faction Fab uh, bought them at CB Speed thanks to Wu and Sales. Uh, he helped me out a lot. He answered all my emails. He even gave me a phone call and said, "Hey, if you have any questions, call me up." We did. We had some chats. I made. I asked every single regular customer question. It's like, "Hey, I'm buying these coilovers. Can you tell me the weight, the height, the this, that, and everything?" He was quick and easy to answer all those questions. Well, this is not going to be an in-depth on them. You can look online on how to install them properly. I'm just going to show you how they go on the car and then the ride height, and uh, I'll also add the instruction PDF file because those are hard to find to this video as well. You got any questions, please make sure to comment below. Subscribe, click on the notification button. Also check out my website, www.guzman-multimedia.com. I got lots of pictures and videos of cars. I do a lot of car photography and car videos of the Northern Virginia D, uh, DC area. Let's get this video started, install some coilovers, and see how this WRX looks. So there you go. There's your top mount, nice and clean, 12 kilograms. And then I got my tools, I got two of them here. One's in there, there you go. And then I got the adjustment knobs right there that I just insert up top once this is all installed. Just so you guys can see what I'm dealing with here. So there you go, I got my suspension in here. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna take these off. And then, uh, yeah, real deal. <sighs> Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. So here on the passenger side, I've got these 10, 10 millimeter bolts, and you're just gonna unscrew these. This is gonna be the top mount. There you go, and I have my uh, sway bar here. So I'm gonna actually loosen up both sides. I have a little extension here just to give myself some more leverage, but you don't need that. You can just take it off. I'm gonna take those off. See, real simple. So the good part about this is this is not that hard of a job. This is off, ABS, that's off. All right, so I'm gonna pop this off and uh, there you go, the towers are unscrewed. I took off the sway bar because it was kind of getting in the way, as you can see, but this is gonna be pretty much rinse and repeat on the other side and uh, definitely had to get a jack to hold that there so I could safely take the weight off. So this is gonna be the fun part.
Hi right, guys, so I know you guys didn't get to see it, but here's the camber bolts. I got those installed, got the brake line installed, ABS, and there you go. This thing was a pain in the butt to lift, but we got it in. Those are gonna be at uh, 14 pounds torque. And remember, you gotta use the bolts that came with it, the little screws right here, these bad boys, not the factory ones. Uh, just Or if you're gonna use, make sure you take one off because I had the mistake of having both screws on. Had to go and redo it. Also, make sure you have the passenger side strut and the driver side strut separate so you know which one is which. Either way, uh, that's what it looks like in there. Uh, pretty much rinse and repeat, left to right side. That's what's gonna happen. And like I said, the screws in between or the thread in between is how I'm going to measure with measuring tape by millimeters and whatnot on the height of the car. By the way, a really cool trick that a friend of mine just showed me right now is that for the camber bolt, if you wanna make sure that it's lined up the same way next time you install it, get some white out and put a line across so that when you screw it in next time, you just pump the line, match it up, and there you go. When you take it to the alignment, they already know what they're doing and your screws are already set. So uh, yeah, that's cool. I'm still working, I'm just using him because he's free labor. <laughs> All right, so the front are done, now I'm doing the back. By the way, you gotta be careful when you take these struts out because I pulled the uh, arm out a little bit of the uh, steer. What, what did I pull out, Rudy? Axle. The axle, I pulled out the axle. So we pushed the axle back in. Now everything's good. We got the struts in, the suspension, the coilovers in the front all installed. Now I'm gonna do the back. So it's just straight install. I'm not gonna go through every single spot. You guys pretty much figured it out. guys here's a bird's eye view of the inside of my trunk I gotta get there and I gotta get there to get to the struts uh, to the top mounts of the rear so that uh, we can make these adjustments I'm gonna see if I can do that right now or actually you know not adjustments but just to actually get to it let's see here you know what I could be able to actually just put these out We had to get in here and tear this side up but it's okay it's not a big deal if you care about it that's understandable uh, but me I took it out to as well I'm gonna get in the strut and uh, anyway go something like this you get the point I'm gonna wait till I have everything done to put this back in I can put it in place like that but if I really don't care I really don't care so the back bolts came out real easy 14 millimeters Put a little zap and they came off so now for the back ones to come in new ones this back part is so much easier than the front. Whew. Easy. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the rears are done. The front are done. I'm doing an oil change, rotated some tires, and now it's the long, process of dropping the car then inch by inch making sure the height is right measuring from the tip of the wheelhouse to the center of the wheel and then going from there but later on because this is going to be a long process i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all completed uh i got some new batteries for my cameras and uh yeah still going and that's all right rudy's breaking shit, but you know what he let me use his stuff so it's fair <laughs> All right, so as you noticed, I'm not in a garage and I'm not dressed like I'm robbing the place or trying to break into a car. It's the next day. So, the thing is, uh, I was supposed to have a friend help me out. My friend couldn't make it. He, well, we've all been there. You've asked for a friend to show up, they don't show up. It's all good. At the same time, uh, I had the mechanic uh, that was at Honest One's uh, garage, Rudy, the big guy, you saw him. He was helping me out whenever he wasn't working on a car and uh, take some time to dial it in. So, not to mention, big mistake on my part was on one side I screwed it unscrewed it the wrong way uh, the suspension and I uh, pulled the axle out by accident so we popped it right back in the height adjustment is what took a really long time here's how it sets right now with 13 inches in the front 13 and a half in the rear 
I've got to wait a couple of days uh, for the springs to settle in. Uh, it's only day two, so it's a little bouncy, but at the same time, everything hasn't totally settled. I'm gonna wait till about Monday. It's Saturday right now, so I'm gonna wait till Monday to see how everything sets to see if I wanna adjust the height a little more in the front because I think 13 is a little too low. But I've got factory wheels and uh, I think it looks nice, but gotta let everything settle in. But I definitely wanna shout out to uh, Rudy for helping me out, the mechanic at Honest One. Also, if you're in the Northern Virginia area, like Alexandria area, check out Honest One's car garage. Those guys are super awesome. Thank you, Sonny, the owner of that shop. He's the one that allowed me to work on his bay the entire day. I was there from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and he didn't mind. Um, got any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the uh, comments below. I'll add all my information in the description so that you guys can know all the stuff and all the links and everything and uh, like subscribe chat all right guys it's a beautiful day and uh, I know this video is taking a little too long but you know what it's an in-depth uh, review on the suspension and I had to do it outside because it's a beautiful uh, November winter time frame so uh, the suspension on the car uh, is working great and so I had to take it to the track uh, summer motorsports here in uh, northern Virginia uh, you're gonna see the clip here in a minute it took a while to install the suspension do the alignment test drive the car for a week get a good feel about it and then take it to the track and uh, since this is taking about a month to do this video I have to say faction fab are a must buy at the price range that you're getting for like 800 bucks and with Black Friday deals, I'm pretty sure you're getting an awesome deal out of them. When I took it to the track, super duper duper impressed. Took it on a carousel, that's where the curve turns like this and uh, the car did nothing but hug the corner. And even though I only got to do one lap around on the track because a friend of mine got into an accident, got to take care of my buddy and drive him back home, I got the third fastest time for the one time around, which is not a lot to say, but you know, for me, that's a pretty big deal because you know, it was a one time around, the car did really great in handling and uh, turned on a dime, didn't lose grip, didn't feel like it was losing control. I was doing about uh, 40 to 60 miles an hour, but on a turn, this car turns, hugs the corners, uh, it's got great grip. Of course, that's due to the, the tires, but the holding, the, 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 the body roll and all that stuff, stiff suspension with the, uh, the coilover kit. Let me tell you, it's uh, no regrets. I love the FR specs of the Faction Fab. Uh, so here's the video clip of it. And again, it's a beautiful November afternoon. Happy Thanksgiving to all of y'all. Like I said, this video, I know it's a little bit long. It took a month uh, to do it, but I wanted to make sure I was giving you guys a full review. So if you're in the market for some suspensions, FR Faction Lab, beautiful, great. All right, here's the video.